simple daisy ring. Looks good by itself or you can stack some together as I've done here. Once you've mastered this ring, it's really easy to move on to more complex daisy chain patterns. But let's start with this one. For this project, you'll need about 12 inches of beading cord, a beading needle, green, pink, and yellow seed beads, scissors, and glue or clear fingernail polish. Thread the beading needle and tie a slip knot at the end of the thread to keep the beads from falling off. Make sure to leave a generous tail. Thread on enough seed beads for the band so that it's about halfway as long as you think that it needs to be. It's okay if you don't get it exactly right. We can adjust on the other half of the ring band. For my ring size, the right number of seed beads is about 15. To make the flower part of the ring, thread on six seed beads in the color that you want the petals to be. Then you're going to make those beads go in a circle by threading the needle back up in the opposite direction through that first bead so that your thread circles through. And pull that snug against the band. To make the center of the flower, thread on a single seed bead. The yellow seed bead is going to end up in the middle and the way the string is coming out here, you're going to want to put it in the opposite direction through bead number four. So count that bottom bead, one, two, three, four, and the string is coming out this way. So we're going to put the string through the opposite direction of that fourth bead. Okay, and as we pull that snug, we want to make sure that yellow bead goes, or the center bead goes in the middle of the flower, and then we tighten everything up. All right, now we're going to start adding beads to make the second part of the band. You're going to add enough beads to about equal the first half of the band. So I'm going to do about 15 again here. Once you've finished with that, pull out the slip knot on the first side and measure the ring around your finger to make sure that it fits. You want it to fit just snug around your finger so that you can easily get it on and off. So that looks about right. It doesn't matter if you have to remove a few beads on one side or add a few. Um, on another side because the knot isn't going to show so it's okay if your knot is a little bit off center. So once you're happy with the number of beads you're going to tie a strong knot Once you have the knot, you want to put a little bit of glue or clear fingernail polish there to make sure that the knot doesn't come undone. So I'm going to add just a touch of this super glue to make. Once the glue is dry, thread the beading needle back down through three or four of the seed beads. and then clip your thread there. Do the same thing for the other side and clip the remaining string. Once you've finished your ring, you can see how these might be addicting to make. You also should be ready to go on to more complicated 
daisy chain patterns. I've got lots of ideas and different projects on my channel, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the episodes. Mm -hmm.